Hello, and welcome back to another enthralling chapter in what we call our life of just traveling around building stuff out of timber, which is a barbecue hut, because, as like I said yesterday, I've done a poll, and all six people have voted 100% in favor of bringing you to Wales. So here we are in Wales to build this here barbecue hut. It's a different kind of barbecue hut than we're used to, which straight away was really annoying, because instead of being screwed to the pallet on the lorry, it was nailed with about 500 fucking nails, which is really annoying. So now we've got to actually make sure we pulled all the nails out of the timber before we even start, because they're everywhere. So we are actually in a place called Rill, which is right up the top of Wales on the uh, north coast. If you don't know, then Google it, or just open Google Maps and have a look. But if you can't be bothered to look at Google Maps, here's Google Maps to show you exactly where we are. So we're actually staying over again tonight uh, in, in Rill itself, right down on the seafront. So fish and chips on the beach it is again. But like I said, we've not done this one before. Very similar. I'll show you a picture on the instructions in a minute. Uh, and then we're going to crack on. So we're going to get the base sorted out, get that all leveled, ready to go, and then start building it. And like I said, these things are quite difficult with just two people to get the roof bits on. But I'm sure we'll manage. Because we have to. Been selling things are well. What facts belong, it's hard to say. Your pattern is so hard to tell. But we're together, that's our Okay, that's the uh, first challenging part done. Got the up the windows and the side bits up and then getting it all squared up, even though it's not square, obviously, but getting it all screwed together and relatively square on its base, which it is, it's gone together quite well. So now, the hardest bit of the whole build, which is to get the roof panels, which are out front, get them up there, obviously only two of us, so you kind of have to kind of manage. I'm sure we will, because we've done it before, but once that bit's done, it's kind of like, well, it just gets easier, doesn't it? So uh, yeah, we have a little break. Then do that. Would you tell me, can't you say what's really going on? What's really going on? Down the bottom in the hole, there's no sane ways, there's no explanation. That weren't too painful, was it? Not bad, but we've done it a few times now, so we'll just get quicker and quicker. We have mastered the system, and it works. Da da! So I'm going to do now: start stripping ridge tiles, work out the ridges. I need to go and find a drink though, because I forgot my lunch box again. I've got my lunch. I've got my bag the other day. I forgot a lot of things. I need some time off, definitely. Ridge tiles. Ridge tiles. I've got things I tend to moan. In these times, just please be patient. Be my show, you be my home. Brag us out. the life-threatening part done I'm off the roof don't have to go back up there now till the chimney goes in the top uh, but it's looking really good the customer is really really happy with it she's so excited as well she's been on FaceTime to a friend and she's really excited that it's being streamed live on TikTok as well which she um, kind of doesn't get but does get so I'm gonna leave Billy sorting out the rest of the porch and I'm gonna go inside now start messing around getting the benches in place these benches are a lot easier though because they haven't got the bed bit on and they don't actually float either they're actually fixed to the wall with a 45 degree like tim bracket so i'm gonna go in there which means i'm not gonna be the sun which is very frustrating but someone has to do it and there's no third person to do it so i have to do it Can't you say what's really going on? I've kind of 
mess up a little bit with his benches, which is not technically my fault because the instructions, as you can see, are pretty poor. It says here, attach the bench beams, blah, 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 which I've done. And then it says the beams should be placed 39 centimetres. That's for people who use centimetres. So 390 mil above the floor. Now it doesn't say from the top of the beam or the bottom of the beam. So I had a kind of sit down like test and I thought definitely the top of the beam. But now, as you can might see, but probably not because you're probably out of focus. Um, when I put the actual bench tops on, they're going to hit the window handle. So I've now got to take all the benches back off the wall and lower them down to the 390 mil, but like from the top of the beam, not the bottom. <laughs> not doing it today though, packing up five o'clock. We're gonna get cleared up, the sun is shining, it's beautiful. We're gonna go and check into our room, go and see the sea, the North Sea. I don't know what sea it is. It's the Isle of Man's above us. <laughs> Oh, that breakfast was amazing. Absolutely beautiful. Set me up for the day, that has. And the people that run the B&B, lovely. Absolutely lovely people. Called you by your first name all the time, which was a lovely touch. As for the rest of Real, gotta be brutally honest, if we never done another job in Real, I don't think I'd lose any sleep over it. So, plan of action is to get this barbecue hut finished, which is just get the barbecue in, really, do all the trims, and then we can get home, hopefully, at a decent time, and have that Friday feeling for the first time since about mid-March. That's how long it's been to, from having a whole weekend off. Long time. First of all, though, I've got to sort out and drop the benches because of my error stroke rubbish instructions. So I'm going to do them first, and then when they've done, barbecue, clear up, take some photos, go home. Seriously, testing my patience, them bloody benches. I do not like them at all, but I'm gonna keep calm and keep that Friday feeling. Contain yourself, Ben. I did say that they weren't floating benches, but they actually are floating benches, which I don't really get. They claim that you can sit 12 to 15 people in there, having a few beers, eating your burgers, but you're only held up by four screws per bench. Don't like it at all. Luckily, when we went to Devon and done the shepherd hearts, we got some spare L brackets, which I've affixed them to the wall to give it more strength. But unfortunately, then screws came through because they actually ended up on the half lock. So I've had to go back under and rearrange them all. But they're all done. We're still on track. We actually have the barbecue left to do, which Billy started. Uh, but this one's a bit different. So again, it's a little bit of a challenge, but I'm sure we'll overcome yet another hurdle because this is actually riveted together which is great. Luckily, they did send a rivet gun because it's not something you usually have on you. So we now have a free rivet gun so we can rivet things. So yeah, crack on, stay on schedule. The weather here in Wales today is not the best at all. And I've just spoken to Emma at home because she's broke the strimmer and she says it's beautiful sunshine and 26 degrees, which is frustrating. But the lucky thing is we'll stay on track, we'll leave here about mid afternoon and we'll drive from the rubbish grey Welsh weather into the beautiful blue sky English weather, playing some nice Friday music because it's Friday. So yeah, get it on.
It is actually as slippy as it looks. High risk, dangerous work. But don't have to go up there again anymore because that is all finished. We're all finished on the outside completely, apart from Billy's just putting a few trims on the door the inside and on the outside. And then we're going to get the internal canopy on, onto its chains, tidy up, and that's us done. Yes. Barbecue hut, done, finished. Customer's not here though, so uh, she can't even see the final product. It's lovely though, absolutely lovely. Like these buildings. This one, like I said, is slightly different. I got a little bit frustrated with certain things, so did Jordan, but it's done. So we can almost declare the weekend now because it's Friday, it's court free, not bad timing. So if we leave, say like in the next couple of minutes or so, we should be home for around about six, half six. So uh, yeah, I'll declare the weekend after I've done my first hour and 40 minutes of driving and Jordan can take over, then it is actually the weekend. But we are going straight home today, not stopping at the farm shop like the other day, which was very nice actually, because we got there and there was a Range Rover and a Tesla. We got very excited, Jordan more so than I. And then um, actually Lisa, uh, Jeremy Clarkson's wife, came out, uh, had a chat with us and said, do you want an apple juice? So she unlocked the whole place, went in to get an apple juice. And she came back out with Diddy Squat Farm Shop Shandy and went, here, have some driving juice. There it is. Lovely. I mean, that's what's a bit warm now, so I'm not actually going to drink that. Um, and mine's at home on my mantelpiece in my shed. So I'm not going to drink it. Emma wants to drink it but she's not drinking it. So straight home, see the kids. Thank you so much for watching. Like I said, people voted that you wanted to come to Wales with me. You've been to Wales, you've seen the barbecue hut. Now I wanna go home, because I am mentally and physically knackered. This is now day, I can't remember what it is, I've lost count. Day 12 in a row. I'm looking forward to the nice hot weekend off in the hot tub. So yes, thanks for watching. If you're not subscribed to the channel, then please consider subscribing if you do like my videos. Like I said, most of the people that watch my videos are not actually subscribed. So subscribe, it really helps me out. Like the video, turn on the notifications, all that YouTube stuff that you should be doing. And I shall see you at the weekend, at home, when I need to check on all my birds and babies and stuff. Toodle pip.